Hey, what's up guys? It's uh, end of May 2021. Just wanted to give an update to the garden this year. Things are starting to grow uh, well with the nice weather that we're getting. Uh, temperatures of 21 degrees or higher and nights around uh, 10 degrees Celsius. So this is the front bank of our property and this is exposed uh, to deer. So everything in the front bank here has to be deer resistant. So we have uh, my tropical section here with a windmill palm, uh, formium, some rostrata, uh, yuccas. This is a camrop serifera, um, some um, yucca gloriosas. If we work our way down here, there's uh, heathers. Um, some pampas grasses, some other ornamental grasses in the back. These are uh, lavenders, English lavenders, which are more cold hardy. Some thyme that's creeping on the rocks here. Some creeping uh, euphorbia, which does really well in the sun here. And then some various uh, yuccas planted along the way. This is yucca uh, rigida blue sentry. That's a uh, yucca gloriosa, just a regular form. And more uh, euphorbia. It's a uh, pretty cool euphorbia. I got uh, this here that's got red flowers on it. It's pretty neat. It's another yucca blue sentry. So that's the front bank. Again, this is exposed to deer. So everything here is deer resistant. have an agave there in the pot, agave americana. Then uh, along here, that's a, a needle palm. And then along here is uh, some bamboo species, some Japanese forest grass. Over here, it's mostly shady. Uh, so I got some ferns, I got some bamboo. Some different types, some more grasses, some different types of uh, ferns, rhododendron. This is a uh, Livingstona chinensis in a pot because I bring it in in the winter. Over here on the other side of the driveway, have a magnolia. This is a, a magnolia caperis, so it's evergreen. I really love this magnolia blooms throughout the summer for us. Over here we have some uh, variegated yuccas. That's a formium. This is a cordyline australis, which is starting to bloom. It's another agave, agave americana, regular form. Uh, some more euphorbias along here. Some Grevillea. Grevillea is uh, from Australia. Has nice red blooms on it uh, throughout the summer and, and part of winter as well. Yucca rostrata. Camera serifera. Lavender. And a Camera humulus. So continuing the tour to the backyard. And we just have the uh, rock fountain with some ferns, um, a uh, dogwood. It's a Kusa uh, dogwood. Over here we got uh, Brugmansia. This is a pink variety that's just coming out. Uh, this is a uh, Tasmanian tree fern, Dixonia antarctica. antarctica. <laughs> can hardly say it. As you can see, it's got a bit of a trunk on it already. Uh, we got a grape here. Hoping these grapes will grow up and then over this trellis. Got one on the other side there as well. 
That's another big Bergmanzi on the corner. That's a Goles, uh, Doles Gold Trumpet, so it's a gold variety. Very uh, beautiful smell on those. These are my uh, avocados. I have them in five gallon pots. And we got flowers this year, and there's some evidence of little avocados forming on some of them, so it's pretty exciting. I actually get some avocados this year. Uh, there's a fig that we hawk, uh, hack back big time this year. Uh, I got this uh, planter built for some giant bamboo, some vivax species, golden vivax. Uh, looks like one calm there suffered some cold damage this winter. The other ones are looking good. They're about 30 feet high right now. Some wisteria. This planter here, we're just growing some vegetables, but this is the, uh, in the middle of that tree is the, uh, the guava, pineapple guava. The hoja. Over here we have a greenhouse. Got some separate videos on our greenhouse. I won't show too much inside or anything like that, but that's we have an aquaponic system in there to grow food mostly. And I was also overwinter the tropical plants in there. These are just some random plants. We're uh, just getting used to the outside growing for planting outside, like tomatoes. Uh, some pepper, some corn. These are columnar apples in the pots. They're uh, extremely prolific. Lots of apples on there. Just loaded with apples. Little baby apples coming up. Uh, we have an arbutus there. Some more wisteria. These planter beds are again for vegetable growing. Uh, here we have a uh, Chilean guava. Those plants in the pots are all hot peppers. Uh, this is the um, uh, uh, the name escapes me. Um, uh, we'll get back there. We'll get back to that one. Forgot completely. This is Arbutus unido or strawberry uh, tree. This is the uh, eucalyptus that I planted. This is a eucalyptus archeri. Should be get pretty big. Um, didn't have any any problems with the cold winter, so went down to minus five this winter. No problems. Um, back here is a trellis for growing the tomatoes. So we just started growing our tomatoes here, planting our tomatoes, and they're going to have uh, a string mechanism from bottom to top uh, so the tomatoes can grow up like uh, like vines essentially on the strings and it will help support the weight of the fruit and I just remembered what this is it's a loquat so it's eventually gonna get nice big and bushy and maybe we'll get some fruit off that let's see here continuing our way this is a, uh, a plum tree. Here again, we have planter boxes for more vegetable growing. More apple trees here in pots. We have uh, garlic growing in this bed. It's a cherry tree. Here we have a bit of a pollinator garden. So plants that uh, will attract bees and pollinators for our fruit trees. Some smoke bushes in the back, two varieties. And uh, this plant over here with the big leaves is a deciduous magnolia, Magnolia officinalis. And I just love this plant. It's just so exotic. Look how big the leaves are on it. It'll get bigger and it'll grow obviously up uh, 30 feet high or so. These are pawpaw trees that are just starting to open up. And then back there is a kiwi vine with uh, two varieties of kiwis growing on there. Uh, over here, we have this uh, overhang built with glass on the south facing side of the house. And then here is where we're gonna predominantly grow citrus and uh, nectarine, dwarf nectarine, peach tree. Um, so this is a Persian lime or bear's lime, a Meyer lemon, Peach, a variegated 
pink lime. That one I, I keep in a pot because I bring it inside the greenhouse for winter. That's a dwarf nectarine. This is a pomegranate. This is a bergamot, which again we bring in for the winter. And this is a mandarin. And I believe this is a Satsuma S2 mandarin. So we'll see how that does. So I have them growing in this bed, uh, south side, south facing, overhang. And then if it gets really cold, I can put uh, a heat source here and wrap these guys in frost cloth if it gets really cold. But I'm hoping this hardy uh, citrus will do well here. Working our way around this way. Just got some uh, nice maple tree there. Some shade loving plants like hosta, some Japanese forest grass, rhododendron. Here we have more shade loving plants. Another plum tree right here. And then this cool big leaf roto, Sino Grande. As you can see, the leaves are pretty big on this guy. And it's still young, so the leaves are almost as big as, well, almost twice as big as my hand. And that's gonna grow bigger. And it's it's almost in full shade, so as it as it grows and it has more shade, the leaves will tend to get bigger as they try and capture more light. Over here is another shady uh, garden with uh, shade-loving plants. This guy here is a Schlaffera de la Bay, or de la Bay. They're very winter hardy plants here in, uh, we're in zone 8B slash 9A, and they're, they're definitely hardy here, no problems. I'll just zoom back here. So this is, uh, we have a stone patio here. And I just started uh, trying, I grew uh, creeping thyme, uh, creeping, creeping thyme, creeping thyme, there we go, in the cracks and it didn't do too well. So I tried this uh, Irish and Scottish moss this year. So we'll see how that does. Hoping it'll fill in these cracks and keep the weeds out. That's another plum tree, Formium. This is our berry patch. So we have raspberries, blueberries, gooseberries, red currant, strawberries. Just strawberries down there. It's an apple tree. Another apple tree back there. Goji berry is on the uh, left. It's a coral bark maple. Work our way up these steps. These are uh, some, some uh, Japanese maples here, the red and the green. We have our compost boxes there and also a box where we grow our potatoes. It's a dogwood, um, some maples right here. Hostas. This is mostly where we have uh, part shade, part sun. So a lot of different roto species. Some bamboo, spectabilis. Um, another eucalyptus back there. A uh, baby blue spruce. Some ferns. Nice, beautiful red, blood red maple. Some mandarin lights, azaleas. This is an evergreen magnolia. Frisia, Pseudocasia frisia, golden locust tree. And then this roto I added recently. This is a roto rex beautiful foliage. You can see the underneath of the leaf and then the top of the leaves and then the new leaves come out of this powdery silver blue. Really beautiful. Another, uh, another azalea. 
And then this big tank over here is our water tank that we capture rainwater in, and that's 1,200 gallons. So that helps water this garden when we get to water restrictions or have to pay extra for water.